We are in Backup Exec 15. I'm going to show you how to set up an email alert. So what we want to do is click on the upper left-hand corner uh, in Backup Exec 15, and then click on Configuration Settings, and then Alerts and Notifications, and then Email and Text Notifications. All right, so you've got uh, several options here. Some you have to put in there, for, such as the email server. So um, you can also change the port number for email, although by default it is going to be 25. So uh, put in your email server. We'll just put in mail.test.com as an example. Uh, now, if this is this is if you are going to be setting up email on an external server, you may have an internal name if you have an internal server to your location. So it might be mail.test.local, which would be an Active Directory name. So uh, you'll, you'll know if you have an internal mail server what that should be. If you have external, such as Office 365, then you can just look that up on their website what that should be. All right, the sender name could be any name, but it's easy to just put administrator because they don't have to worry about the name changing over the years. And I suggest you put in administrator at and then whatever the domain is. So I'm going to put it at test.com, what you put in your domain. Make sure that an email account actually exists for that as well. All right, so some mail servers require authentication while others don't. If you're local to your internal server and you set up on a receive connector, an anonymous uh, send re receive connector, then you don't have to put in email authentication. Uh, so if you do need to put in authentication, it's actually pretty easy. You just hit the checkbox and you put in the uh, either the email address if it's an external name or the email address, possibly with if it's an internal name, or you could put in um, the uh, domain name itself, the Active Directory domain name itself, backslash administrator. Now, how you tell this is if you have a smartphone or a website that you log into for your email, when you log in, do you put in domain backslash username or do you put in your email address? So whichever way you put it in there, put it in here. Then, of course, whatever password it is you use to get into your email, and then you can click OK when you're done. All right, so let's go back into alerts again email and text notification and uh, you can also put in a text number as well you're going to have to call your uh, cell company to find out what your text number would be it's still going to use the mail server to send it though so when you call it's still going to be uh, such as if it's uh, um, t-mobile for instance it's going to be uh, you know your name at uh, tmo mail.net something like that so um, that's going to be you know the uh, type of thing that you're going to have to find out from your uh, cell phone company itself and when you're done you click OK and then of course you got to have a user so you go back to configuration alerts and notifications notification recipients so you need to add a recipient here so we'll just put my name in and we'll put my email address There we go. Then we're going to send a test email just to make sure that it gets through okay. And it'll pop up a message uh, one way or the other saying, uh, there we go, test notification has been queued for delivery. Now, I don't actually have an email account at test.com, so it doesn't mean it's going to work just because you saw that message. It uh, you know, may not ever show up, and in my case it won't because I don't have that email address, and that server doesn't exist either. Uh, so don't let that fool you that uh, you know that message is going to get through. It still may fail, and you may have to go in and tweak your server settings. All right, you can also check the box that says send no more than one email in one minute. You can actually change that to hours. You can change that to any number you want um, uh, as well. So uh, that way, if it doesn't get through the first time, hopefully it'll get through one of those times to get you a notification. And, of course, there's the text notification information as well. So that's how you set up a, an alert by email in Backup Exec 15.